The Supreme Court led by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachud is set to hear cases against the electoral bond scheme from October 31st. This scheme, which began in 2018, allows anonymous donations to political parties. Now, what are electoral bonds? Electoral bonds introduced in 2017 are like special money tickets that let people and organizations in India secretly donate to political parties. You can buy these bonds in different amounts from Rs 1000 to Rs 1 crore at authorized SBI branches after showing your ID. Political parties can cash in these bonds within 15 days of getting them to support their election costs. But here is the catch. You can only buy them during specific 10-day periods in January, April, July and October. Important to note that these bonds can only be used to give money to political parties that are registered under Section 29A of the Representation of the People's Act 1951 and parties that have received at least 1% of the votes in the last election. Why were electoral bonds introduced? Electoral bonds were introduced to make political funding in India more transparent. In 2018, then Finance Minister Arun Jetli suggested electoral bonds to tackle this issue and reduce the cash from unknown sources. However, concerns were raised by organizations like Common Cause and the Association for Democratic Reforms, who filed petitions in 2017. They argued that these changes passed as money bills allowed unlimited donations including from foreign companies and lacked transparency in political funding. What has the court ruled previously? In 2019, the Supreme Court ordered political parties getting donations through electoral bonds to share bond details with the Election Commission of India. In 2021, the court turned down a request to stop selling new bonds and disagreed with the idea that these bonds provided complete anonymity. The court said it could investigate how the scheme operates. Even though the court didn't halt the ongoing bond sales, there's still a bigger legal challenge to electoral bonds filed in 2017, waiting for a decision. Advocate Prashant Bhushan raised concerns about alleged misuse of electoral bonds, including claims of a news company paying rupees 40 crore to avoid a raid, which he argued was a threat to democracy. What remains to be decided in Supreme Court now? The case involves four petitions filed by ADR, CPIM, Congress leader Jaya Thakur, and a PIL by Spandan Biswal. These petitions challenge the constitutionality of the electoral bond scheme. The petitioners also seek to classify political parties as public officers, subjecting them to the Right to Information Act and to compel political parties to disclose their income and expenses. What has the Election Commission of India and Centre's stance been? The Election Commission of India raised worries about changes in the Representation of the People's Act that let political parties keep donations via electoral bonds secret. They thought this was a step backward and urged the government to rethink and change the rule. Whereas the Centre's Attorney General R. Venkata Ramani believes that the public's right to information has limits. The Attorney General supported the electoral bond scheme, saying it safeguards donors' privacy and promotes transparent contributions.